so I want to take this back to the community for a minute. Earlier you had mentioned town hall meetings as being a way in which to start developing a relationship with a member of Congress. But I also know that some of our members are hosting site visits. So just curious to hear your thoughts about that and what are steps that members can take to um, invite people to come for site visits? Right. Uh, site visits are very important. I might not start with a site visit again, that's why I said the town hall, but mm -hmm. once you have that relationship begun, they're more apt to respond positively to coming on a site visit. So with the site visit, a few key things you want to do is have a tight agenda, have the points in your head, what you want to say, make sure that they see the people you serve. I mean, they want to they want to hear from them and see the story, see how, the, how you're helping their constituents. So that's really important. Also let them, if it's a congressperson, let them address the staff. That, that They'll like that too. Mm -hmm. So they get something out of it that way. And uh, yeah, it goes a long way and it's very important if you can do a site visit. And again, having them see and talk to the people that are being served and hearing positive stories, that's going to resonate with them and, and keep in their mind. And I, this is a, would also be a great way to potentially bring press to your center as well, that um, maybe local press may want to cover this event. Well, that, that's true. Um, where I live in Michigan, the press doesn't, we don't even get a paper delivered five days a week anymore. We're a major metropolitan yeah. area, and so reporters are thin. But when you, what you can do if the press won't come is, you know, take your own pictures, have your PR person uh, write the story and deliver it to the papers, and they'll probably be happy to publish them. 